what is up what is up it's Kevin here and welcome back to the channel guys um so today we're just gonna have a small discussion about the top five things that i hate this question was inspired by daiki who he was asking it for part of my yai that came out yesterday okay but that yai ended up being too long and i i can foresee that whenever i talk about things that i hate it's going to be much longer okay like this one was long as well now when i was recording this video i was recording both things that i hate and things that i like that video ended up being 40 minutes guys <laughs> okay so i'm gonna cut it into two more videos so today you're gonna get a video on things that i like that i hate about the game and then tomorrow you're gonna get a video about things that i love about the game it's both five on each five things that i i hate five things that i like okay and just to complete um this week daiki's request on um, the following day after that is it friday i think it's thursday on thursday i'll take out a video of basically smash or pass okay we'll be going through all of these units and saying which one i'd smash and which ones i would pass okay so that's that but um yeah without being said let's get into the video whereby i talk about the five things that i hate about this game all right so when talking about things that i hate i'm gonna start from the bottom up basically number five is the one that annoys me less and then number one is the one that it keeps me up at night man it makes me angry like i wish it would change every other patch whenever i reach patch notes i wish number one would be amended would be there to be like hey we are changing this we have listened to the community okay so um yeah number five less egregious is just something that gives me a concern i hate it i wish it would change but number one is like bro <laughs> i have dreams about it changing <laughs> because this that would change my life okay so let's start with number five and number five is that it seems like the devs have no plans for the two stars in this game okay the base two stars these guys well not not two star base two star okay all of these guys it seems like they have abandoned ship on all two stars right if you guys play epic seven you know that two stars or well there are three stars that side right they're known as three stars there's like three realities there's three stars four stars and five stars okay three stars get attention which i guess would be our two stars they get these things called specialty changes whereby they they get upgraded right like let's say vera gets a specialty change she'll get a design upgrade her kit will get in get upgraded she'll get like an upgrade map as well i want something like that in this game as well we need two stars to be back right and the reason why i think they completely abandoned ship is because they the last two stars they took out was layla and retree retree and layla were not part of the base game they were taken out last year around this time okay we got a layla and a retree and that's back when i think moonsoon tune still had a plan for two stars okay there was still something that he wanted to do with two stars but as of right now i think they have completely jumped ship like they don't care about two stars we got a story update we got a whole story update right a whole new region where there was nadia right like we went here right we didn't see any potential two stars like gone off could have been a two star right where's gone off <laughs> Is it, yeah it is right this this dude no 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 no. it's it's a guy man the old man the old man who is manipulating vlada okay that old man gone off this chapter is named after him right he could have been a good two star but nothing nadja i think um the story things that we do here are nadja's the missions she could have been a good two star there were the dreadnoughts we could have gotten like one two star dreadnought like this is nadia right she also has a quest guide alpha has a quest guy she's a two star ava has a quest guy she's a two star right so it would have been nice to have nadia as a new two star but they completely have forgotten about two stars guys like i i am convinced there's no plans for them 
no plans to improve the ones that we have no plans to put in new two stars and i hate this i wish this changed there are some two star designs that people love okay like yesterday's yai someone was simping on fenrir okay and it's so easy to have a better fenrir upgrade fenrir right make her to be because like there's three levels in this game of power like right there is there is um two stars which is like no power <laughs> and then there's three stars right regular three stars right like if you look at three there's regular three stars like uh that's a level of power and then there's three stars that are damages right or demi level which are these limited units limited units and demi units are supposed to be the same level whenever they introduce the concept of festival units they said they were damage level okay so it's damage it's regular three star is two stars right so the changes i'm talking about they could make the two stars be on the same level as a three star regular one but i'm young. number five is that i do not like the fact that the two stars are completely forgotten in this game okay so at number four the content that i hate the most is the joint challenge because this content is just empty garbage okay i hate this content because the reason it exists is to formal people into summoning the current unit okay every time a joint challenge comes the previous banner unit is good in this in this content not only that you also get buffed points both these units are currently in the summon banner right so it's predatory in nature. A new player might see this and be like, oh, Drakan. Oh, damn, I don't have a Drakan. Let me go summon for Drakan. I don't have a Nella. Let me go summon for Nella. Right now, Drakan and Nella are actually good. So it, it's good instruction. But what happens when it's a bad unit? There's Fatal in here. Fatal is good in the current um, joint challenge, right? new new players get baited into going oh hey let me summon for fatal for this new challenge joint challenge and um i just that's the core reason why i don't like it is because like the point of it is that it's a boss it's different bosses with different mechanics every time okay you might get the same skin of deep sea guardian but deep sea guardian won't always have these skills in in joint challenge all right it's different skins of bosses they rotate in rotate out they every time have a different set of skills and the skills are tailor-made such that you need to use one of the new units like the mechanics are like that sometimes there's cover-up units like you can use the new unit or like a unit similar to it but that's for like people with stacked accounts okay the best way is always to get the new units which are buffed in terms of the score that you get so that's why i hate joint challenge this ranking here does not matter the score you get also does not matter <laughs> it matters a bit because there's a shop but if it's basically if you just do all the missions here if you get in every day and do joint challenge you'll get enough of these tokens to spend in the shop to get the things that matter okay this joint challenge shop you can get the things that matter from it if you just go in get one point of score and all of these total rewards here this is the efforts of the whole um the whole server that you are on it's not about you so it doesn't matter what you do it's only uh bait for new players to go summon the new hero and it's like it's trying to mimic what honkai star rail does if you guys know honkai star rail there's this uh mode called simulated universe and simulated universe refreshes every month and honkai star rail will always have two banners every month one of those banner units are going to be godlike in the in that month's simulated universe so it's pushing you oh to complete the simulated universe i might need to pull this new unit that is godlike and it baits a lot of like new whales to go and like e6 that new unit and i think joint challenge is an attempt at that a bad one i don't like it this is not content to me i hate joint challenge i don't even interact with it i just click and whatever team is here i use it like i don't even care i just pick this team and i just go in 
I get whatever score, that's it. That's what I do on a daily for joint challenge. I hate it. That's number four of things that I hate in this game. Um, starting off with things that bait new players is I do not hate the I do not like I hate <laughs> the ticket system of these three game modes. It is completely useless. Like remove these tickets. These tickets were meant to be bait for new players to use their ether to get. You know, like oh shit, I need more gold. Let me get three more daily purchases. It was fine. Like these things were fine to limit us in the early game just that um you don't like progress way too fast right that was fine when the game was new but like now the game is old we don't need these limits just make it cost energy such that if i want to make a unit a level 100 i just come in here and farm food until i have enough food to make that unit level 100 like I, why do i need to come in daily i understand it's part of like the daily grind they want you to come in here every day click here click that do the sweep right but like this is annoying as a daily task like i'm doing nothing here right i do this one i go out i do this one i go out and it's every day every day i have to do this right it adds to the mundane tasks this is this is mundane man like <laughs> i should come in here and say hey i need more refined gold stones let me farm it until I have the amount that I need. Let me use my energy. Okay? That's what should happen. These tickets completely to bait new players and to stand progression. At some point, they need to be removed. No one cares about them. They need to be removed. Like, the first three days you play this content, you can already beat stage 10 of this content, okay? If anything, if they want us to still do this, add more stages then. Make it go to stage 20. Make that one hard. Maybe stage 20 you farm once a week and it gives you like a bunch of these, like 200 of them. But um, yeah, as it is right now, it's just lazy content. I come in every day, I look at this, I'm like, oh, I have to click this four buttons, which adds like, I don't know, two minutes into my grind. <laughs> it's absolutely annoying. So um, yeah, I hate these ticket systems, right? And I also hate this content as well. It also has ticket systems. Like it's old, man. Give me a one tap button to just get what I need. Let's go in. Let me show you the content that I hate. It also uses this um, ticket system. It's not there. It's here. Guild board. These things. Guild security. Give me a ticket. Give me a button I can click here to just get the, the rewards, man. Like this thing is not hard to anyone who has been playing for two weeks. After two weeks, it's not even hard, this thing you know what i mean so i have to come in here click this again extra buttons for no reasons just put it here i click button i'm done with it i've already beaten it many times okay it does give good stuff this shop one of the best shops right it has books you can see that it has books um if you are new these accessory chests mean something to you they mean nothing to me uh, I always come in here buy those things on a weekly, right? Daily, I don't buy anything, but as a new player, this is good, right? And you get that from doing that thing, but it's, it's kind of bad. Why the ticket system? Again, daily limits. I hate these boundaries. Everything that has a ticket should go out of this game. So yeah, that is number three of things that I hate in this game is this ticket system. It is old. It worked in 2022 right now new age games do not need this ladies and gentlemen let me farm what i need to farm stop with these barriers at number two man this this causes me ch chest pains is the gem system this system is such a gold sink man you can come in here and drop 20 million gold and you still won't have enough gems to kit like two units it's actually insane right like if i come in here and click combine that's 50 that's fine 8.5 million and now i combined these four stars they become five stars it won't be 600k anymore it'll be like i don't know five million i combine the five stars they become six stars and i combine the six stars for better six stars it's cr it's crazy this is a gold sink just look at this eight million 
okay i currently have five million like the gem system is auto stupidity they need to like have the gold sink of this okay and whenever the quirk system was introduced i thought they would touch on gems because the quirk system has a part where stuff is limited right like if you get into the quirk system there is the utility the utility does not touch anything it increases your base energy stamina right xp that you get and your crafting stuff and that's it that's it dude i thought one of these nodes would be gems gold spent on gems because the gem system it is it is a pit <laughs> it is a pit and six star gems are so good right like like if you have your let me show you how good these six star gems are right three six nine twelve crit chance right here and attack okay whenever this unit does not have that the crit seems sad it's still sad i mean this is still 50 percent crit <laughs> for those who know they know but i if i add equip that like look at that 86 it's even more sad okay so they do add value but they're just so expensive to get like i don't understand i don't understand why they're so expensive to get it's such a gold sink Unequipping gems also cost gold. Like, what? Come on, man. Come the fuck on. Gems need to be... This section, it needs to cost half of what it costs right now. And people will interact with. I was... I'm hoping that the new content where we farm gem dungeons... Like, it's gonna be a, sort of a gem dungeon, right? We're gonna be farming gems. I hope when that content comes... They recognize that the gold needed to do these gems is too much and then what have what they need to do from that point on is reduce the gold so whenever that game mode comes it needs to come with the reduction to the gold spent on combining gems because eight million is insanity get the fuck out of here anyway that is number two the gold sink that is the gem the gem system needs to go away i do not like it that is the second thing that I hate the most in this game. And the number one thing that I hate about this game is found in the shop, okay? It is the costume shop. Why are costumes in this game $20? What? $20 for a skin? Bro, some of these skins I wish I had. I wish I had this. Look at this. But I'm not going to spend $20 on this hell no man i wish i had this iota as well but 20 dollars 20 dollar skins is wild especially since it's just skins look at that dude bunny eternal is next level okay i didn't know eternal had curves like this until this skin bro look at that god damn it dude i didn't know this was her shape the base sucks i would like to have this but it's 20 dollars. i think they should have three different price ranges for skins there should be five dollar skins there should be ten dollar skins and there should be twenty dollar skins okay they should still have twenty dollar skins but the twenty dollar skins should be extra they should be more every skin that is in this game right now is supposed to be five dollars every single one of these skins is supposed to be five dollars maybe not this one this one is golded but yeah all of them should be five dollars the only thing that skin changes is how the unit looks okay and i think a great example would be summertime regina the ten dollar skins right the ten dollar skins should give you a new background okay only summer regina has this background guys this background is only hers okay i think when you buy a 10 dollar skin you should get the skin and when you have the the skin equipped you should get a new background like this one here all right that should be the 10 dollar skins and then the 20 dollar skins should give you what summer regina got here the twenty dollar skins should come with a new profile frame. They should come with a chibi model of that skin of that unit. They should come with a background. Okay, this this background that you see here, 
they should make a new background for the unit and it comes you can only get that background if you buy the 20 dollar skin so i think that's how they should tackle the skin thing because right now all it changes is how the unit looks and it's 20 20 dollars is too much just for this nah man like it doesn't matter how much i like something i'm not gonna spend 20 dollars just on a cosmetic like this no way it's not happening maybe they're not making the skins for players like me who wouldn't spend 20 dollars on this but if they want players like me to buy this skin make it five dollars i wouldn't even think about purchasing four of them right you make every skin in here five dollars i buy one two three four of them it's as good as i spend twenty dollars right right now you are not getting any twenty dollars from me for the skins but if you make them five dollars you might get five dollars from one person and you will definitely get more than twenty dollars from me because if, if they're five dollars i'll start just clearing out the summer ones right this one op op right laplace i don't even use it but i'd buy the skin right valentine i'd buy it bunny i'd buy it bunny i would buy it buddy i would buy it army bunny skin oh my god fox i'm sorry bruh 20 dollars you make this five dollars i swear that month that they made the skins five dollars Outer plane is gonna make five million in revenue. Okay, <laughs> that month it is going to make five million. Everyone will be pitching in five dollars for this. And as I said, you can make it ten dollars, but the ten dollar version comes with a different background, right? Because currently, if you use anyone's skin, background doesn't change, right? Background doesn't change. Why? Who should we go to? Well, 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 who has a bunch of skins? Mayne. I should have a summer background here. If I spend $10 on the skin, right? This was free though. So the free skins and the $5 skins, they need to just change like this. $10, change the background. And then as I said, $20, you get the frame, right? You get a new frame for that unit. Um... Maybe you even get an animated icon like this icon here. Maybe you get like an animated version of it, right? There's also lobby stuff. You can get chibi versions of these heroes. Um, There you go, right? There's chibi versions of these heroes. Maybe if you buy that skin, you get the chibi version of that skin. You see, this, this is a chibi version of a skin that is $20 currently. So, no. <laughs> oh my background change no anyway guys um that is the video those are the five things that i hate about this game if those five things change this game would be perfect i have been kovian thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video